Hello, this is Galaxy Starcraft with a, another game for you on Steps of War, a map that I chose because I have not seen it quite often. There are lots of uh, other maps that have been played on recently. Anyway, um, I also want to say that um, a little secret that you may or may not know is that I uh, like to do a lot of casts. Uh, one reason is because, um, check out this APM here for both players, um, because it helps me uh, train, uh, believe it or not. Not only is it fun to bring cast of professionals or not professionals, it's it's uh, good uh, training to look at the mini map at all times because you begin to realize subconsciously that you can find that information on the mini map. And um, as a new StarCraft player, I need to build a foundation for my um, for my uh, abilities and therefore need good good mechanics. So just a little little thing there, I thought I'd let you know. And uh, yeah, if you want to get better at looking at the mini map, try making a couple of casts. Upload them. Don't up upload them. Um, it's your call, but it's still kind of good uh, practice. Uh, let's go back. In, let's go into, into the game now. Uh, we have a Terran versus Terran. Blue is Envious, and yellow is Braddock. And I'm not really familiar with who Envious is, um, but Braddock is a famous Terran uh, known for his bio play and um, dropships. So we have a looks like an early refinery and barracks standard Terran play, of course, and looks like your uh, matchup so far and you can see that also in the production tab is kind of the same and let's also look at the um, this SCV there's some action here uh, this is the only action right now on the map so let, let's see what happens in this SV and I found out that you can't I can't figure out how to kill these things um, I don't think you can actually target them which is unfortunate. And if you click them a lot, like in you know Warcraft two and three, I think uh, they would they they don't blow up like they do there. Uh, so anyway, that's unfortunate. Uh, Braddock is gonna get is gonna scout the base now of Envious and does uh, see that a Marine is building and also saw the orbital command. Uh, Envious has chosen not to scout quite yet. Uh, this map, of course, is short short rush distance. Therefore, anything can happen. Sometimes we do see long games where uh, you where neither player really is willing to go for the all-in or stay on one base and be aggressive that way. Um, but there are, again, a lot of games where you'll have, like, proxy barracks here, or not not there, maybe, like, right here, and, you know, where a player tries to take advantage of the fact that it is such a short uh, rush distance. Let's see. I wonder if that will come into play right now. Uh, looks like uh, Envious is chasing down this SEV of Braddock. He does see it. In, he doesn't pursue he just decides to go back to his base playing very safely and we have we go to the unit cannon station looks like we have three marines for both players and SAV so everything is looking sort of identical and I'm uh, experimenting with my sound in the last couple of videos my sound hasn't been quite as um, quite as loud the game sound not too loud usually it's a game sound which is too loud and you can't hear the commentator but uh, I put it up to 15% so hopefully that will help uh, Braddock 26 out of 27 supply let's hope that he doesn't gets himself supply blocked and nope he looks like I thought he was building a supply depot it looks like he's supply blocked at the moment um, is Braddock building a supply depot he needs to um, I wasn't looking at I was actually uh, looking at Envious he was supply blocked for a little bit anyway um, Envious is now building a starport a little one 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 play going on um, and Braddock is getting a tank Envious is getting a Hellion um, I don't see a starport anywhere or in production at the moment uh, Braddock is going to possibly uh, make some magic happen with tanks maybe doing some containing uh, what will we see yeah we could see it's like some containing uh, with siege he is getting early siege tech so that means he might like put some tanks here or try and contain uh, envious in his in his natural uh, sorry in his main while trying to get up an expansion um, right now Braddock is, I thought he was going to move out, but then he just kind of came back. Is he waiting for Siege Tech to finish? That's the question. It's about about done, so Braddock, you could probably move out right now with your tank. And uh, let's see, and it looks like Envious is just choosing to stick with Hellions at the moment. And, of course, he does have his medevac. Braddock doing a scan, figuring out what's going on. A reactor going down now on the starport. Meanwhile, a tech lab for the factory and now we have a confrontation in the middle it's just an SCV getting burned down it was scouting to see what where the ba a, uh, army of envious was and the envious decides to pull back after scanning nope he is just loading up this 
this dropship with Hellions, so probably do a two-pronged attack, attack, one with Marines and one with the dropship, but I think that uh, Braddock's going to be okay if he sieges this tank here. He, um, uh, cause I don't see these Marines coming. He would have been in danger, but if he kept the siege, siege tank, no, he's using the siege tank for the Hellions. Um, that's what Braddock does, because Braddock knows what to do. And this medevac is escaping. It took a little, a little bit of damage, and those Hellions did survive. Not doing anything except for containing Braddock in his base. Um, and it looks like Braddock, though, is planning to push out soon because he does have a command center on the way. If we look at the army of Envious, all Marines, and looks like tanks on the way now. So just a little bit of a delayed tank, and now getting siege tank uh, tech. So almost mirror uh, for both players except for the Hellions on Envious. And Envious is looking to take control of the map. He, all of his units are kind of in the middle of the map. Even a dropship now coming around, um, trying to do something, um, maybe to be successful this time. And it looks like an, one Marine is going to scout out to see where the army of um, Envious is. And it looks like we actually have a canteen from Envious and not the other way. So this Marine is going to give line of fire. Let's look at get, let's watch as Braddock will might move his Marine in there and get himself shot. No. But, oh, crazy stuff. So that Marine just out of range of that siege tank. and But now we do have the Vikings up here uh, patrolling, giving uh, giving view. And it looks like these Vikings aren't going to... Braddock just have more Vikings in the way. So, And he has his siege tanks. It's kind of like a, who can muscle the most with their siege tanks. One siege tank, a couple siege tanks getting shots off on these Marines by Envious. Look at these Marines. They are low in health. Braddock is getting his, his expansion. Meanwhile, I don't see any expansion on the way for Envious. Envious could be in a lot of trouble right now. We do have a scan going in for Envious, but what can you do against that? I don't really know. Uh, I'd love to see uh, Braddock repair the, these Vikings. And they're very low health. This Viking goes down. The air battle, uh, the air and sight battle does go to Braddock. Um, the Vikings do give increased sight rates to these siege tanks like it did in Brood War. And Braddock does have his expansion secured. Um, I'm not really familiar with Braddock's um, usually, I like. The, I, I don't know if I. He he's often quite more, a little bit more aggressive. He's just d d just defending and saying, "No, I can defend better than you. I know how to position my my units. I'm not going to attack." He could. He obliterated all those units. I feel like he very well could choose to uh, push out and uh, prevent this the expansion going up for Envious, who's realizing he's in a bad position, needs to put that expansion. But no, Braddock is happily just going to take down these rocks, and then is going to. Um, just continue to make tanks. It looks like let's go in the base of Braddock. We do have one uh, one factory, one barracks, one starport. No more, no other production facilities right now. Engineering bay on the way, and no upgrades. So uh, this command center is now done. Now Braddock is going to try and secure his lead, get his advantage completely. Sec well, secure. Sorry about that. And then we have one Viking getting shot down for Envious. His Viking has to be very careful with his Vikings, but Braddock is taking shots from these Marines, and this Viking almost goes down, and I think those Marines did save the day uh, for the uh, his envious Vikings, but these Marines are going to try, and it is really just a sight battle right now. Who's siege tanks? Which siege can, tanks can get shut down? And this uh, starboard does have a reactor, and it looks like the... Envious is does now have his uh, expansion up. If we look at the army tab, it is 84 for Braddock, 60 for Envious. But Envious is not totally out of this game right now. If he can hold Braddock's aggression, then I think he can be okay. Um, Braddock, uh, as long as he doesn't throw away his lead, I think that he could win this. We'll just have to see. If we go to the production tab, we do have more Vikings on the way for both players. Uh, third, a command center going down for Braddock. Good thing he did take down these destructible rocks. He's looking to take his uh, third expansion right now. And things are just heating up. Uh, th things were heating up. Things are actually kind of cooling down right now. But the cylinders are hot. The game is is really hasn't been decided quite yet. Braddock uh, is now securing the map with this uh, missile turret and contain. Although he's not sieging his tanks, which is an interesting choice. We go into the units lost. It looks like Envious has lost 3,000 resources versus 1,200 on Braddock. And it looks like we do have an Envious... Envious just took out the SCV of Braddock that was building that turret. Interesting. I've never seen that before. Uh, kind of an interesting sni an SCV snipe right there. And Braddock is deciding to push. He is going to siege his tanks right in Envious' face. Vikings go down for Envious, but I, I think that Braddock, he's still experienced. I think he knows that he can take this. I wouldn't be surprised if this was a GG from Envious very soon. Vikings shooting up the tanks 
interesting vikings are shooting up the high ground these siege tanks are taking care of business and it looks like envious has lost the game and a gg comes from envious uh great to see braddock uh it's just this mirror matchup uh is fascinating fascinating to watch and braddock was confident in his defense he got up his expansion earlier and unfortunately nvs could not get the um the upper hand on braddock thanks a lot for watching and i hope you enjoyed this game